Theron. Uh, so today after our coal quest, we've got, well, a lot of coal now. Um, I think we should probably work on the building because it looks like absolute crap. Okay. No floor, walls are made out of cobble, it's a bit lame, I don't even have enough chest space. So I think I'm going to expand on my little house um, and then probably go for an adventure. Uh, run around over that way probably, maybe some sand out there, see what's over there. And yeah, we'll ch just check it out. Oh, I should probably check on my mushrooms actually. Oh nice, they've multiplied. So you can see as well. I'll remove the torch once I leave. But I'll, um, actually, I'll expand this area quickly, um, so the mushrooms have a bit more space to grow, I think. I reckon that's a good idea, don't you? Yes, Carl! Oh, thank you, viewers. Um, there we go. Uh, whoop. Of course, that was gonna happen. Now, I'm real uh, keen for viewer feedback, um, so if you feel the need, please comment um, on what you think the series should do, or how, like, what, where we should go with the series, or if we should continue the series, um, or if we should move on to maybe a modded series or something like that. Let me know. I don't kind of enjoy going old school with uh, vanilla Minecraft, because nobody ever really plays it much anymore. But, um, oh, yeah, no, fresh plate. but I'm really up for a uh, view of feedback, so please let me know. Um, yeah. Also, I'll uh, talk about a little bit of what uh, some of the other lag ch you may have, oh, jeez, that reminds me, you may have seen uh, the Stop It Slender on Lag Debishies page. As you can probably tell, I am a big ass pussy when it comes to horror games. I cannot handle them at all. I can't, I've never really watched horror movies either. I am absolutely hopeless when it comes to scary stuff. Uh, like the close, the, the scariest I get, which most people consider is not scary, is like Resident Evil, as in the movies. I've never played the games, not really into the games. Uh, and holy cow. So, for about half an hour before recording, um, I was just freaking out. Uh, I was so scared of playing that game, and for good reason, because Tyler freak scared the shit out of me. Um, I'm also so scared because I am the only one out of the lag group who has seen Marble Hornets, um, the YouTube series where uh, Slenderman comes from. Oh, I'm not... 100% sure if that's accurate, whether that is where Slenderman comes from, maybe somewhere else. But that's where I found Slenderman, and it was a couple years before the actual game Slender came out. Um, so I don't know what came first, the chicken or the egg, but that's where I saw it. And you, I watched up to about entry uh, 45 or something, and then just stopped watching this. I don't know, a little silly, but nonetheless, it scared the shit out of me. To this day, I still look over my shoulder to see if, like, a Slender Man is following me. Like, I get so scared. I don't, I just can't help it. Every noise in the house, I just freak out. But, oh, when Tyler scared me in that video, uh, I legitimately just like fell off my chair. I was so, so just, oh, it was over Mark. And I hope you enjoy that because that's never happening again. <laughs> no more horror movies for me. Or horror games for me, I should say. Alright, so we're doing our foundation trick again. Um, except I kind of want to make the walls a bit nicer than cobblestone. Um, you know? It's like, 
kind of shitty. Uh, I need iron as well. I should actually go mining for some materials because I need iron to like shear some sheep. I got two iron. It's enough for shears, but for anything else, it's like a waste. Um, let's partition. Where'd my shovel go? There we go. I'm gonna partition our rooms. So in the front we can have, um, I don't know, something. Crafting and chests and stuff. And then in the back we can have a bedroom, maybe an enchantment table if we ever get to that stage. Um, I think that'll be good. Um, Make bookcase, library, library actually. Um, that'd be a good one. Um, we'll put double doors in. It's an odd number. I don't, don't you just hate that? I can't put double doors in. Only a single door. Um, hmm. Um, maybe we'll just put it on one side or something. Yeah, I think we'll do that. That's good. And I'll make I'll make the new house the thumbnail so over the weeks you can uh, see the house evolve into something magnificent. Hopefully, now I'm not the best builder, um, which you may have been able to tell from our little Minecraft challenge that we did, uh, our building challenge. We didn't really post that up on uh, lag there and. Uh, with everyone's point of view because we sort of failed at recording it um, and only a couple of the recordings were worthwhile then we didn't really have much structure to it so we didn't exactly um like we didn't put it up on our, um, this channel because this channel is like like there is serving as uh, the main channel for a little while um, Everyone else will have their individual channels, um, but on this channel we'll have any videos we decide to mash up into multi-views, um, for now. Um, as we get more f more of you guys watching, um, we'll add a proper um, channel, and yeah, uh, we'll add a proper channel and put all our group vids on there so you can... Uh, find the vids pretty easy, like easier and you don't have to watch individual boring stuff like me doing this, playing with doors. Alright. Uh, I need to cut down these stairs. Oh, I don't know. Do I? Oh, maybe I'll just put half. Oh, oh, God, I need to get on the wall now, don't I? Oh, man. Now, it's really nice that Minecraft puts this in, but sometimes it's just a little bit annoying. Alright, we've got food, we got a really lame axe. I'll put this in the chat. Um, sticks can come with me. There we go. This, this. Bowl can go back. We got a little bit of food. I think that'll do. Um, oh, iron. Get rid of the spider's eye. Iron. I'll, put, I'll throw that in the farm. And then we'll go mine some more uh, cobble um, and try and find some iron. Except it's night time. Let's go for a quick nap. Oh, yeah. That's the usual. While I set up to record, I put it into creative. Yeah. I think you'd notice if I was cheating. Uh, oh god, I... I didn't mean to hurt you, I'm so sorry! I'm sorry, please, please don't run away from me! 
Except you're in my fence now. All the way. Gee. Crazy. There we go. All right, let's go mining. Um, I haven't really seen any good mining spots except for that cave we explored. Up there. All the way up there. Let's go there. How is that zombie still alive? Now, what? Is it because he's got the pumpkin head on? Wow. Oh, learn something new every day. Alrighty. Alright. Oh, speaking of... Oh. Oh. Oh, coal. Oh, would you look at that? There's coal everywhere but the one place I was looking in that one episode. Oh, that is appalling. That's embarrassing, actually. How does this happen to me? Seriously. Let's mine up this coal. And then we'll go into the other cave. Wee. Wee. Wanna just push me around. Wee. Oh. Alright. No, speaking of because it was Halloween the other day. Um horror movies. Should uh in the comments, leave the scariest movie you've ever watched. For me, it's, it's not very scary to most people, but I watched, when I, when I watched I Am Legend, um, I found that the scariest ever because I was home alone when I watched it, and I was relatively young when it first came out. Uh, well, not relatively, I, was, I just got scared, I'm a big horse. Um, but, yeah, um... I was home alone when I watched it, it was night time, I got scared, very, very, very scared. I had to like watch the entire movie, squinting. Yeah, so that's the scariest movie. I also have watched the latest Resident Evil, uh, number 5 I believe it is. Uh, we watched it in 3D, VMAX, me and a couple of other guys, and we just sat there, like, freaking out, holding our hands over our eyes. Because of the 3D, you know, when you sort of sense when the zombies are going to, like, jump out and scare you. And you're just like, oh, it's coming, I know it's coming. So you sort of cover your eyes and you sort of freak out a bit. Yeah, it's like that. Watch it in 3D, though. So that was uh, interesting. But I didn't, yeah, Slender. Just, oh, that, the whole story behind it. Uh, not many people know because they haven't watched... Marble Hornets. I should really look up if that's where it legitimately came from. Like, Marble Hornet. Oh. Oh. Dungeon. Oh. Zombie spawner. Let's light it up. We can use it later. Oh, what did we get? Oh. I hear a skeleton. Oh, it's scaring me. Um, alright, I'll take this, I'll take it all actually, oh, here we go, here we go, Arrgh. don't take my iron brumby, hey, so now that we got a saddle, we can try tame a, actually I'll take this chest with me, we can try to tame a horse. Maybe we can ride a horse around. I should learn how to make a leash. Oh god. Jeez. Jeez, what are you doing? Ah. Huh. No, no sword. That'll work. Uh. I think with Halloween my nerves are a bit on edge. Because ugh. Everything's scaring me. Me a small fright. I should eat something. Um, a bit of bread. Yeah. Jeez. I got some new headphones and a new microphone, and they sort of have surround sound, so I can hear everything, and it's a bit nerve-wracking because like all I can hear right now is zombies and skeletons and shit. And, uh, I really don't want to be blown up by a creeper, because I got all the Brumby stuff. I can have a battle Brumby. 
battle, Grumpy. Should get the monster coming soon. Yes. Alright, and we delve deeper into the depths. So what was I talking about? I was talking about Slender. Um, and the story behind Slender Man. So, basically, he like, finds his victims. Um, and they don't know that he's got them. Like, that they're being taken by Slender Man. Because at night, Slender Man comes, he takes you. It may, it may not be longer f for longer than a night. Um, he like, drugs you. I'm, we're not really sure what happens to the victim when he gets taken by Slender Man. All we know is that um, they start. Um, oh, I'm starting to get shivers. Uh, they they lose their memory. Like they don't remember what happened to them that night, and it slowly gets worse and worse. And they start developing like a consistent cold, and they get sick, and they get paranoid, and they start recording themselves, like video camera sort of recording themselves. Um, to see what happens to them, because they're like, oh, I just can't remember what happened last night, what happened? Oh, I'll record myself, see what happened. Um, why, what happens to me? And that's how they start capturing images of Slender Man. And, um, they, they obviously get more and more paranoid, because they're seeing these images of Slender Man, they're like, oh, what is happening? What is happening? Why, why is, why is he coming for me? Eat, and they, so they keep watching and they try and look for Slender Man to find out what's happening to them. Um, and then they just get more and more taken, like they keep getting sucked into this thing. Um, sicker and sicker until they start going nuts. And then they, w they can't tell anyone, because how are you going to tell anyone that there's a creepy guy with no face um, wearing like a suit after you? Um, so they like start losing their friends, their friends wonder what happened, and they f usually the friends dig around and find the videos. And then they start watching these videos of their friend being taken by Slender Man. And then Slender Man somehow finds out that they're watching videos of him taking other people. And then Slender Man starts taking them. So it's a giant spiral. Um, very giant, scary spiral. And uh, the, the, basically the key to it is, and what makes it so scary is that it could be happening to you and me, and we wouldn't know because we don't, we wouldn't have any memory of it unless we were recording ourselves at the time that he takes us. Why is, why is this lava? Oh, there it is. Still coming. Slowly, slowly. So that's what makes it so scary. Like he could be right behind you, you wouldn't know because you don't have a memory of it. And yeah basically it. It's just like, live in fear, basically. And, for, yeah, that's what makes it so scary and why I'm so scared of it. Um, though it's unlike, ooh, ooh, unlikely that um, it exists in real life. I don't think it does, I don't believe it does, but you still get that feeling, you know, being watched sort of thing. Like right now, I get that feeling of being watched. No, it's just by you guys. Just kidding. Ah, Cole, stay up. Jeez, I don't want to go down there. Not yet, anyway. Uh, there we go. We're going down there now. Uh, at least we found a cavern that we can go adventuring in. Hmm. All right. I think. I kind of want to try and get a Brumby, so I'm gonna go get a Brumby. Now I've got a little bit of iron, I can uh, make buckets and shears and stuff and start working on the house a bit more. Also got a bunch more cobble. No I don't, I don't really have a bunch more cobble. Um, but, yeah, let's, let's train a Brumby today, for today's episode. That's gonna be the goal. Um, and then the next episode we can go down into the depths, the, go into the mines of Moria, per se. Uh, yep. So, oh, I also need to find some reeds, but I might do that in, um, off camera, because it'll probably take ages and be real boring to watch. Alrighty, let's get this guy. Alright. <laughs>
Oh. Why not? Let me on. What's the deal here? Someone said, I need sugar, don't I? Three. Aww. I don't have any. Let's go for a quick sleep and then we'll go for a run around to try and find some reeds. I think we might call it there for today's episode. Off camera I'll go find some reeds, so for the next cam episode uh, we'll tame a, tame a horse, we'll learn how to tame a horse, and we'll tame a horse, and we will also explore the Mines of Moria, Ooh, even though it's not really the Mines of Moria, no copyright infringement here. Uh, we'll explore, uh, explore those mines. Uh, so thanks for watching, like and subscribe.